All right, it's time to create with Quimby. Our DIY queen is back once again with the perfect summer project for all the gardeners out there. This charming hanging planter is a great way to take your patio to that next level. That's right, DIY expert Shannon Quimby joining us in the studio right now to walk us through this project. I love this. Welcome back. Well, thank you very much. Great to see you. I, I know. I was just thinking, I'm like, you know, I actually have a little time this weekend. My patio needs mm. a little TLC. So this is a perfect project for your weekend. Yeah, think kind of a game like Jenga. Uh -huh. you know? <laughs> it is. Yeah, that's kind of what inspired me. Jenga for um, your garden. Yeah, I so like that. I'm going to do the steps and you guys get to do the fun process. Okay. So I'm okay. kind of skipping ahead. Okay. So what I want you guys to do, and you each got your little spots here. Mm -hmm. So you're going to alternate on your corners. Okay. So notice I've got dark and light. Uh -huh. Okay. So you'll thread a light. To okay. a light, but you're going to alternate sides. See this? I see. Mm. Okay. No, okay. 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 So I'm yeah. going to go Perfect. here. Uh huh. I yeah. feel like this and is then, honestly. And then to the um, other side. This is giving me Lincoln Log vibes. Yeah. Oh my God! I that still have my Lincoln to... Logs. Right. <laughs> this is my. This is the growing up Lincoln Logs. Yeah. So Super while you guys really? are doing that, I'll show the steps from okay. the beginning. Okay. Let's see it. Yeah. yeah. How to so get the, this product. For, first thing you're going to. These are half inch square dowels uh -huh. Uh -huh. and you want to cut 18 of them to 8 inches long. All right. Okay. And then the next step is then you're going to measure and mark. You're going to make two holes on all 18 of them an inch in. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll dot that out. So you measure and mark. And then after that, then you want to drill with a 9 13th drill bit. That's okay. this. And you're going to drill both your corners. And those are the ones that you're threading right now. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, two of those you're going to actually do four holes. Okay. Okay. Because that is the bottom. Yeah. Which mm. then stops the pot from falling through. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. So yeah, so two of those. Then when you are all done, I'll get this out of the way. Then you want to sand because there's got a little fray going on on those. Oh, okay. So you just take a piece of sandpaper. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Let's sand it, it down. out. Yep. yep. Sand your edges, wipe it off, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to add kind of a little splash to this. Okay. And so this is fun. You take, um, and I like to use these little tiny ones, okay? Mm -hmm. And I take the one that's got the two and I dip it all the way down. Oh, that's how you did that. Yes. Nice. That's so easy. Like lift it up, uh -huh. tap it out, slowly and turn it around. And then just let gravity oh, sort of take the wheel there for a little bit. And you just let it drip down. That's fun. I was trying to figure out like how, how you did this like stain pattern. Right. It's very cool. Well, take a look. Like, bring the camera in here so you can see, light. really see, see that? that. It's like stained on one end, and so then when you stack it all together, you get this really cool makes, pattern. It kind of makes it feel that's like neat. very PNW. Oh, it's like the trees in a mountain. Like you kind of have that look at it. Close up on my chip nail polish. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Notice I let you do that, not me. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, no, that's such a cool idea, and I, this is the perfect thing for you know if you did um, another project, another piece of furniture, and you've got like half a can of stain left, and you're like, what am I going to do with it? Exactly. Perfect. Or a lot of these, they use you know you use it maybe as a sampler. Oh, yeah. Check yeah, this yeah, yeah. out. But you're absolutely right. It's a really fun dip way to go. Yeah, super um, smart. And then another little tip. Notice I've got uh, tape on the end of this yes. uh, nylon. Very uh -huh. helpful. Uh -huh. This nylon cord, which by the way, you'll probably want to do two cords about four feet long. Mm -hmm. Okay. The tip is that, because if you start trying to jam that tip into all of these, right. it gets all it gets fuzzy sprayed. and mm -hmm. clogged. Mm -hmm. So you just take um, that uh, painter's tape and you wrap it around and it gives it that nice point at the end. It just That's makes perfect. life nice. so much easier. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it even now, like we're like, you know, you can really twist it to make it work. So it, much it, easier. Yeah. It totally yeah. works. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then when you get done, all the way to the top, it gets kind of see. It's still a little kind of. Oh, yeah, that, that is user like, error. That yeah. is. That right? is. Yep. Then you want to pull it taut okay. and tie a knot on each corner, oh, and that's what's going to keep there it tight. There you go. Yeah, and you can see that here too. If you if you zoom on in, you can yeah, see. Yeah, I got a little knot. The knot that is. Teeny little knot right there. Right okay. there, voila. Yeah, okay. and and uh, pull it up and kind of even it out and tie a knot and hang it up. And I there love you go. it. Now, Shannon, did you? I don't know if you already said this, and I was so focused on my threading that I missed it. <laughs> but are these uh, pre-cut dowels? Did you have to cut these? These pieces of wood. I cut them with a miter saw, okay. but actually you can go. I mean, Par will be happy to help you out. Go yeah. to Par mm -hmm. and they'll cut them up for you. Well, and I guess and you could I scale it too. You could make them a little longer if you wanted a bigger you pot. You can. That's exactly it. You okay. know, you know, this is just a standard, you know, four and a half inch pot. But you're right. You can make 
a rectangle one. Mm -hmm. I mean, once again, you know, that's the beauty about the beauty DIY. Of DIY. How did you come up with this one, this idea? What was the, the inspo behind it? Well, you know, I kind of was like, well, I like planners. I like, you know, I've got some wood. And then I think what I really did is um, just by dipping, that was just, actually it was a mistake. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and I started, I did a, I tested it. I went, oh, that's kind of dark. And then I went, ooh. It's kind hey, of a wait. cool pattern. Yeah. Happy there accident. No, so there are was, no mistakes. It, yeah, it's just <laughs> happy, happy, right. happy accidents. And right? it turned out pretty Barbara awesome. Said, that's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. And you'll be donating these planners. To the Habitat for Humanity yes, out in McMinnville. Oh, yes, awesome. I will. Yes, yours. So we got one, two, three. Maybe I, I, you may have to work on mine. I um, I gave up. <laughs> it, was, it was. It's not that complicated. I'm just. Travis um, just wanted to keep his as the before, so then you can oh, see exactly the after. how it's supposed mm, to go. There you go. I was the kid that couldn't color in between the lines, so that's. Uh, uh, that, it's that's okay. Um, awesome though. This is a great idea. Love that you're donating these as you always do. So it'll be a be a, be a, a beautiful little addition to the patio this summer. Super yes, cool. Definitely. Good job, Thanks. Emily. Yeah, thank you, Shannon. No, this is great. Right. So many good ideas. And for the fullest of instructions and materials for this DIY, we'll post that on coin.com. And also be sure to follow Shannon on Facebook for giveaways and more. And you can find my embarrassing one right here uh, live on TV. <laughs> Travis will be donated. It's, it's free if you want. There you go. Thanks. That's I'll me. Help him out.